This video is brought to you by Smugglers Run Gaming, growing and organizing competitive gaming communities. Check them out at facebook.com at Smugglers Run Gaming. Hello everyone and welcome to Dice Commando, coming to you from Monday Night Dice, hosted by Smugglers Run Gaming. In this first round game, we have Braven on the left, saying single Afra, single Grievous, and Sentinel Messenger with Armored Reinforcement, of course, is on Grievous's lair. And on the right, we have Daniel. He's playing Beckett, Iden on Military Camp. Of course, we will have a favored roll-off on Daniel's side. However, he will not win it, so it is Braven's decision, who will likely play on his battlefield. So two shields will go on to Daniel's side. See how he decides to place them. It was both on Iden, which makes sense. He wants to protect her, because there are a couple spot red cards in his deck. And Braven will open with an immediate AR. Let's see what he decides to pull here. Oh, we're doing a Grievous Wheel Bike reset. All right, so he'll pay the two resources and then minus one with Armored to get that Wheel Bike out. All right, cutting the deck, Daniel drops the hold, or sorry, the Hidden Blaster for two, which does have Ambush. And with his Ambush action, I guess we're not taking the ambush. All right, so Stap comes down for minus one with Afra's ability, the first droid, so that comes down for zero. That does have ambush. All right, and then Afra comes in with the two for one side. You gotta hate that side. All right, Iden comes in with three dice. Blank, blank, and a blank. Woof. All right, Grievous comes in. Or not. Yep, Grievous comes in. All right, with a dollar. That's looking good for Braven. All right, here comes Beckett. Another blank and a focus, but reroll was going to happen anyway on Daniel's side, so it is what it is. All right, Braven will take the resource. Yep, there's the pitch to reroll. Not a, not a surprise there. All right, not blanks, but not a ton better. Do have one damage showing. Goes back to Braven. All right, pays one for automated defense, spotting a droid to remove a die, and he removes the focus on Beckett. Another pitch to reroll, which Daniel was probably going to do anyway. Certainly coming. Daniel's thinking it over. Yep, so pitches to re-roll, drops a truce to do it, leaves the one gun out there, which makes sense. Oh, ouch, so blank, he does get a two gun, but he has a disrupt showing now. All right, here comes the messenger, so Braven will get to look at the top card of his deck. Messenger rolls a dollar. Braven looks and does not play it. I did see that there were dice symbols on it. I didn't have enough time to see what it was. All right, so there's one, two, three to Grievous. So Grievous is an obvious attack here because the Grievous wheel bite can spot Grievous to ready itself. So getting him off the board, of course, turns Grievous wheel bike off, which Braven is likely going to try to load with mods here. Right, Stap comes in with a one gun, not a bad roll, goes back to Daniel. All right, continues to pass. Wheel bite comes in. There's a two melee. Daniel passes again. Right, two into Iden, takes off the shields. All right, another one to Iden. Daniel passes again. Takes a dollar. There's the disrupt. Yep. All right, power action to reset the wheel bike, spotting Grievous. All right, there's the claim. So indirect or dollar, but he can't give a dollar, so the indirect goes on to the Sentinel Droid. In comes the Wheel Bike with a Disrupt. Then Braven has three cards, which he can pitch to re-roll. All oh, but just calls it a day, so he'll go into the next round. Each of these guys will have two dollars. So Daniel 
Daniel did not do what he wanted to do that round. Uh, I mean, obviously. Braven is okay. I think Braven would have wished he did a little more damage, but... All right, so there's two right out of the gate for the A300 blaster. Add some more black sides to Daniel's table. All right, reprogram. Reduce the cost of a droid by one, with also minus one for Afra. so triple zero comes in for free. Okay, Iden rolls in. Four dice. A blank, a one gun, a disrupt, and a discard. Modular frame on Grievous for zero. That adds one health to him and does have redeploy. Can move over to the droid, the Sentinel. All right, Beckett comes in with a two gun and a one disrupt. One two for Archangel, which comes down. Remember when Archangel comes in, you can activate two of your supports, up to two of your supports. And by come in, I mean when it activates. All right, looks like we're looking at a pitch to reroll here. Yep. I'll reach the stars. He was hoping probably to play that, but... Oh, he's going to actually discard first. Pulls reach the stars back. Everybody saw it, but discards first. All right. Archangel comes in for a... And then, of course, the Grievous wheel bike does as well as triple zero, so we get a two melee, a one melee. So the reason that Daniel did that is because Braven has no cards in hand now, right? So here's the pitch to re-roll. The one money, a focus, and a disrupt. So Daniel will probably pitch to re-roll again. Sentinel Messenger comes in. Oh, hits the melee. Braven will get to look. Does not play. It was a gray card. I did not see anything else. It takes a resource. There's five now to Iden. Puts her at six. Daniel's going to have to strike here. He's going to have to pitch the reroll. Does not. He's just going to focus the plus two. Right, there's the step, which comes in for a discard, five into Grievous, one health remaining. Actually, sorry, take that back, two health remaining, because he has a modular frame. All right, here comes Grievous with a blank. Now, do note there is still a Grievous power action, but that can only reroll droids. All right, Afra comes in. The discard. All right, Conscript Squad for one. Get it out of the hand so he doesn't lose it. That's a really good card because both of Daniel's are leaders. So there's the Grievous Power Action. Reroll the stab. Highly unlikely he's going to get anything, but no, it does. He does get the gun. All right, Daniel claims he'll deal one more indirect, which goes on probably after this time. Nope, goes on the Sentinel again. All right, one more to Iden. Puts her at five health remaining. There's a discard. See so if you can get anything good out of Daniel's hand. Oh, reach the stars. All right, there's the power action for the wheel bike, which comes in. Man, that two melee rolling hot. All right, so Iden has three health remaining of her 12. And we'll go into the next round, each of these guys with $2. We have not seen Daniel Beckett power action yet, but I don't blame him because you don't want to give that Afro player the extra money, right? Also, he hasn't really needed it. All right, Daniel, get us started here. We haven't seen any action cheats yet, and he does control the battlefield, so we should be getting an action cheat here soon, I would think. All right, so Iden will come in, plus the Conscript Squad as well, so coming in with five dice. All right, there's some guns, a two, a plus two, a blank, a blank, but it's two focus on Iden. That's actually a pretty good roll there. Braven certainly can do something about it, though. So Braven is not taking the resources. There we go. But everybody knows he has two because we just got started. Not a problem. Braven's action. 
pays one, reducing the cost of by one with Afra for BT1. He has his indirect damage turned on. Um, hmm, that might actually work against Braven. All right, so two into Grievous, just to put him down right away. Modular frame will redeploy. That Grievous Battlefield is really working against him here. All right, so Sentinel comes in, rolls the shield, looks it as a dangerous maneuver. I mean, he can just play it for... Oh, he could have played that and dealt an indirect and uh, drawn a card. Okay, Riot Shield onto Aiden. Not bad. All right, another step that does cost him a dollar. Wait, why did he just take a dollar? I'm confused as to why Braven gained a dollar there. He should be out of money. Um, all right, so Archangel comes in, activates triple zero and BT, deals two indirect to Daniel and one indirect to himself. Of course, he'll get to draw a card then. There we go. There's the money. There the money's gone. Okay, good. All right, then Daniel puts them both onto Beckett. We have a pretty good roll with a one indirect and a two indirect, and it goes to Daniel here. Daniel's got to just focus out here, right? Nope, he's going to roll in Beckett first. Ooh, special, special. It's worth two money. All right, Stap comes in. Hits the three for one indirect. Braven cannot pay for it right now. So those specials will keep that protected. So it's time to focus, I think. Daniel's going to be able to do some damage here. Okay, he'll want to focus. Yep, there we go. So the two and the two. So Daniel threatens five with the base two and then the plus one and the plus two. The stap comes in, hits a blank. Not enough to kill the messenger because it does have the modular, so we'd have to get him at nine. All right, so there's... The Grievous Wheel Bike with a in or sorry discard goes back to Daniel. Now, do you remember Iden still has that Riot Shield, which is an eat three or up to three? Daniel thinking it over here. He's got to just leave his specials out, I think, to protect against money on these pay sides. But that kind of stinks as a position to be in, right? Afra comes in with a discard. probably continues to pass. It does have a dollar, so... Still thinking it over here. All right, so it passes. Braven will dangerous maneuver. He'll move two over to Afra, which will deal one indirect to... Um, Daniel as well. So he trades, he puts it on Beckett, trades up to three. Daniel passes again. All right, let's see what Braven picks up here on his pitch to reroll. So he saves the two indirects, of course, on the, but he does pick up the indirect on BT. So the arc stays in play. He's rerolling everything else. He gets a two natural on the Grievous wheel bike. It's been hitting pretty hard. He does have the indirect again on BT. Now there's the two for one on Afra. He's got the money to pay for it on triple zero, but he's not going to be able to keep it with those Beckett specials. So here's another pitch reroll. roll. He'll pick up everything that's a pay side and the money because it doesn't do him any good. All 
All right, so another, so he gets a two, he improves on BT, he has a discard on Afra, gets both the three for ones on the staff, which are essentially blanks for him right now. So Daniel, Daniel's going to steal one, or he can't steal, so he'll just gain one as per Beckett. It's good, puts him at two, and then it'll go, but that's the only one he's going to resolve. He's going to leave it out there, of course, protect against the dollar. Braven does get the focus, though, on the Sentinel, so let's see what he does with that. The indirect on Afra is looking pretty good. I could also see the shields on Afra. Okay, so that two indirect on Afra, that's one, two, three, four, five, six indirect, and then of course the two melee. All right, it is Daniel's action, two dollars. You have to assume he's got something here. But what is it is the question. He can, of course, deal one additional indirect when he claims, which he'll be able to do. Oh, he's going to dismantle BT1 for, for two. Uh, his dial leave the pool. Interesting. All right, two to Iden, which Daniel will take... I think he needs to take that on the riot shield because the rest is going to come in indirect, right? Nope, he doesn't. Yep, he takes. All right, so he takes the two on Iden. Riot shield's still there. All right, and then there's the four indirect, so he can yep do the three. Well, no, he can't. He can't because that's actually a two and a two. So he still needs. Okay, he did it correctly. Nicely done, Daniel. Very very good, sir. So he took two on the shield and then two on Beckett. Nicely done. All right, there's a pitch to reroll. I think Braven probably should have claimed, actually. All right, the three to one, yep. Daniel's got to keep passing. All right, oh man, there's the two one guns and then the two for one. All right, so there's the claim. So one indirect goes on Afra for sure. Puts Afra at three with seven health remaining. All right, so there's 10 health remaining on Braven's side, and there is five health remaining on Daniel's side. So Daniel did lose his uh, hidden, but he still has the A300 and the conscript. He drops the ordnance launcher and best defense, which of course doesn't do him any good anymore. Oh, interesting with best defense. Oh, I see. I see why he was playing that game with the riot shield because he could have taken out two dice and eaten it on the riot shield. It just didn't just didn't work out for Daniel last turn. The sequencing, I mean. All right, so there's two for the Donder bus, so that'll bring in Beckett. It's that weird pseudo ambush because when you play it, you can activate the character, which also brings in the conscript squad. So five dice coming in the pool. Daniel cannot get a black side today. All right, there's the bubble shield. All right, so there's a focus to the... Just to the one on the conscript squad. All right, crash landings. Oh, so Daniel will take an indirect as well. Because it's triple zero. And Raven gets to draw a card. Daniel's action again. There's a pitch to re-roll. He needs a black side. Does not get it. Daniel is in trouble. All right. There's Archangel for triple zero and the Grievous Wheel Bike. No damage yet. Daniel has one, two, three cards in hand, I believe. Yep. All right. Drops another conscript or doesn't drop. Discards Concert Squad. There's seven. The stap comes in under the cards. Gets a discard. Oh, they decide to re-roll. Alright, so there's a one indirect. Okay, there's the power action. Each of them gain a money. 
Now let's see if Braven can control. Oh, crash landings for... He'll take the three indirect. So it pops a bubble shield. He needs to place one more. Puts it on Aphra, and then Daniel actually needs to take an indirect. So it looks like that trigger was missed. All right, here comes the step for a blank. Daniel's got to pitch to reroll and try to get something, right? Nope, disrupts first. All right, Messenger will come in, look at the top, gets a shield for a bubble shield, which I'm sure he'll play. Oh, sorry, I take it back. Modular frame. Looks the same as bubble shield. All right, so that's another effective health on the table. Pass for Afra, two for one. All right, Daniel passes again. All right, two, two health remaining. Pass for a pitch to reroll does have one indirect showing. He just needs one more indirect. Some way to cause himself the damage. Alright, that's it. Alright, nicely done, Braven. Way to stick it out, Daniel. Things did not go your way today. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando.